Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another like amateur tries to recreate pro nail artist set design. I, don't know, I still don't know the terminology. So the Instagram algorithm recently showed me um, Kim Kardashian's new nails in her Skims Swim relaunch by a nail artist called it Nails by DM over on Instagram. And this is, I, I love, it's like an airbrush aura nail and then like gradient ombre kind of nail that I think was airbrushed. A few articles have said that is an airbrush design, but I love this particular set of nails and I've always wanted to, to kind of practice airbrush nails and do this kind of like aura nail. Not Aurora nail, Aura nail. And of course we, get, we have stars in here again. I will do a design without stars eventually, but I really wanted to give this a go. So let's see how I get on. Okay, so here we are. I am wearing gloves because I recently had a reaction. So as I mentioned, luckily, Nails by DM actually posted the whole set just like this, as well as the pictures of Kim Kardashian herself wearing them. I'm gonna say now, this looks relatively simple, but these stars, I'm always doing stars. It's obviously a very popular design at the moment. Um, they're gonna be the death of me. I already know they are. So I'm gonna be using my favorite uh, canoe tips, uh, full coverage tips by Diami. These are a little bit pink, but I kind of, sometimes I prefer that because it just looks like the color your um, actual nail would be. I'm gonna be using the actual colors that Nails by DM um, used as well. In the picture with Kim Kardashian, they look a little bit green, but I'm guessing that's due to like the photographer color correcting, all that kind of stuff. This is N001 and Candy Coat Pro palette in the color Maisy. I must say these came very, very quickly. I do have some Candy Coat liners as well. So I'm kind of like interested in trying out the brand a little bit more. I am gonna be using the Jello Jello glossy top gel with this silver painting gel just because I feel like paint the silver gels often kind of dim when you put top gel over the top of them they kind of go frosty rather than that shiny metallic so the most shine I can get the better I'm gonna be using this sponge tool um, to help with the ombre and I've got these little um, ball bits <laughs> I don't know what they're called for the decoration so We'll see how this goes. And I saw one tutorial that used a very similar color palette to the one you were using today. And they said much like a beauty blender or a beauty sponge, actually wetting this allows it to bounce a lot more. You know, you're not diluting the polish, you're just giving this more bounce and it's easier to use. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna dampen this. Um, then I use one of my sticky palettes. Um, actually, this is just like clear post-its from Amazon um, to um, create the ombre. Okay, it's a little bit bigger. There's not much difference there. Now, I know there's certain prep you should do if you're making actual press-ons. I'm not doing that today because I make these and then I pretty much just throw them away or display them. So I'm gonna do a first coat of the Eau Naturelle. This is like a very syrupy um, natural color. And usually if the other, oh, what's that, the hair? Is that hair? And usually if the other product was also gonna be syrupy, I'd kind of like put them on at the same time and do the ombre like that. Um, so they blend kind of naturally into each other. But the other one is like a very average polish. So for me, it's harder to do. For me, the easiest way to do it is to do one layer, then cure it, then kind of do the ombre on top. Gonna let itself level for a few seconds and then I'm gonna cure it for 30 seconds. This is a lot sheerer than I thought it was gonna be and how it looks in the pictures. It's a really nice color though. It's a really nice color. I did put it on my thumb um, just to test that I wasn't having any more reactions and I really like it as like a, a very natural looking um, your f fingernail but better kind of look. So that's curing. I'm gonna get old Maisie ready on a palette, ready to do the ombre. And I feel like the trick to this is gonna be nice and slow. Oh, it does look quite syrupy actually. It's gonna be a case of patience, having a lot of patience, building up slowly. So time to do the ombre. Oh, by the way, these nail stands I get asked a lot about, they're by Jim B and they're from danginail.com. I'm gonna get a little bit on the sponge and then dab most of it off. Right, so it's from tip upwards. So we're gonna do a very, I feel like even that's too much. How far? So about halfway. Tell you what, this pink, pink tack is off putting. Right, I'm gonna load a little bit more on. Again, getting rid of most of the excess.
I'm just taking the side of the sponge and I'm just gonna dab where I think it needs a bit more blending out, where I feel like I've also gone a little bit overboard. I'm gonna cure that so I can start layering that up. Again, now building back up. It looks a lot lighter on this camera. I think I'm gonna have to um, change the lighting a bit in editing so you actually get the true color of it. It's a lot more accurate to the picture than what you're seeing here. Oh, you can kind of see it there. I'm gonna get a bit more of my sponge. Less than that again. I don't know how that looks. Okay, I'm gonna cure it again. I'm just gonna do 10 seconds. Just flash cure it each time so I can just keep building up. When I look at the picture, there's actually quite a harsh line to the ombre. Um, it's not as like radiated as I thought. This would definitely take half the time of an airbrush, but I'm just, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I've accidentally made a bit of a harsh line there, but it's, you know what, it's fine. Okay, that is less obvious. That's fine, okay. And now my lamp has run out of battery. That won't be a second, oh God. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a non-wipe top just so I can do the designs, like wipe them off. So I can make mistakes on the designs and just wipe them off really easily. I don't massively rate this top gel. This is the Bessie top. I feel like it doesn't um, self-settle as much as a top gel should. Next up, I need to put on these. Oh, where's my fixing stuff? Hang on. So I'm gonna take my Jin B um, fix gel and literally just do a line around the edge. Well, not around the edge, but you know where I want these little balls to go. So it looks like we got, so it looks like we have a couple of these big ones. I'm just gonna let them go in there for safety reasons. And then we have some medium size. That's the same size, okay. Ah! That is also the same size. Two of the smaller size ones. I don't have that many size variants, so I'm gonna mix it up a bit, but we're definitely gonna use these little cute mini ones. One more mini cute one. Should get my little wax stick, really. Oh no, there's a different size there. Okay, so I think the best way to do this is to get some of the Fix Gel on a brush. It's gonna kind of do a couple first. My Pin Cure from Diami, just to kind of cure them in place so they don't move around while I'm still doing the design. I'm like wrapping around, so I'm just quickly gonna, one, two, three, four, five, that should do. And this does kind of go right around the edge. The hardest bit about this is not applying them. It's trying to do it with the camera and the microphone in the way. Okay, and now I'm gonna put that under the lamp for 30 seconds. Okay, so now is the bit I really do dread the most, and that is drawing the star. This is a different kind of star I've not drawn before. Um, so I'm gonna cry and just do it and try my best. Okay, so the star is kind of like, I don't know what this star is called, but it's like um, a different star. So I'm gonna do the very basic star I know how to do. But watch me fail a couple of times. It's a little bit crooked. Okay, I'm then going to just do this.
Well, that's terrible. <laughs> I hate it. Oh. I mean, it's not the worst. Right, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna cure it. Usually what I would do is kind of like paint around with the Fix It gel, just around here to keep them nice and secure. But you know what, I'm actually just gonna go over with the Jello Jello Glossy Top Gel. You know what, just go over those, lock them in, make sure they're not gonna move, and then I'm gonna cure that. Okay, now the nails I am most scared for. This is the Aura kind of nail where it ombres from the middle out. So same candy coat base. This is where I feel like a round sponge head would be, you know, ideal, the most ideal thing to use. And listen, I know about filing that end off, but I literally just do it for the video, so I'm not gonna <laughs> spend time filing the end. I actually thought initially that she used that kind of like blue and a gray because the blue has, kind of gone into the natural color so much that it has kind of created this gray color. So I think I'm gonna be a little bit, little less precious with this uh, Aurora Ombre and kind of just like, you know, not trying to look too good. <laughs> That's my excuse for not being good at this. Okay, so I'm gonna take this brush with barely any product on. You might not be able to see this that much and just kind of go in the middle like this. circle around. I have tried this before when I was doing like the blush nail, but I was using a um, blooming gel. It's gonna kind of go around and soften out that edge there. Uh, so it's a very different kind of technique and finished look. Got a little bit of a darker one now. Ooh, God, maybe too much too soon. Maybe not, maybe not. Anyway, it doesn't look like the picture. There's a, a much more kind of like bigger aura. Okay, I feel like I'm not quite getting that really dark depth of color from um, this Maisie color with this technique I'm doing. So for the aura kind of like ombre, I'm gonna use a little bit of blooming gel. So I'm just gonna put a dab of this in the middle of that aura and kind of try and let it spread out a little bit just so we get that really dark navy looking blue that this is supposed to be. So I'm just gonna do a very thin layer across the nail. And then take that color and just kind of let, do a little drippy in the middle there. Kind of let it do its thing for a bit. See the color difference, how it's coming out, out when I ombre it compared to what it's actually meant to look like. And I'm not sure how to get that depth when using like a sponge. much oh fuck I'm gonna I'm gonna try and airbrush these because I can't do this I do not have the skill to do this okay so here we go we have the mixture this is alcohol and um, that so I'm just gonna try let me just practice quick okay what I'm gonna leave at that because I feel like that's the best we're gonna get. Okay, that's fine, I'm gonna cure that. Okay, so I have done a top coat just so I can wipe away any mistakes I make with the next star, which we know is gonna be a fair few. We're gonna do another one of the stars I did for the thumb, but a little bit bigger. Oh God, I wish you could see like how actual, the actual color of this polish is a lot darker than it looks on camera. No. <laughs> 
I saw somewhere that these kind of like longer liners are made um, to help you kind of like um, be a little bit more, what's, less shaky I guess you can say. So I'm just gonna... Okay, okay, not bad, not bad at all. And then a shorter one through the middle. Yeah, that was a lot easier to work with. Okay, so the battery died and I didn't notice because I was so into trying to just get this star a little bit right. The finer liner definitely helps. Um, I'm still not, it's still, it's so hard to draw such a fine line. Getting there though, so that is a one nail done. So, we still have another gradient to go and also the other star. So I'm gonna get on with the, what is probably the more difficult looking star. So this is this one. So it looks like the star I usually do just with like more going on. I'm gonna try and draw the same straight line. Fine. Oh God, I need to remember to breathe when I'm doing this, my God. This brush definitely like absorbs a lot of the wobbles that I get doing this. And then we've got one going through here. No, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. This middle line needs to be longer though, I think. Right, how did I just draw that so thick? I don't know. And that one's fine. Okay, so this is the issue is I need to get right in here now to try and see how to do this middle bit. So honestly, it just looks like a circle. So I'm just gonna kind of fill in these bits, I guess. You know what? Again, that is gonna have to do. This top line is bothering me. Okay, and then a nice top coat to finish that off. I'm actually really liking this Jello Jello glossy top gel. It's lovely and self-leveling. It is super glossy. Okay, and that is finger number four done. Okay, so the final finger is just an ombre. So I'm gonna try and do it with the airbrush. I am, by the way, wearing a mask just to cover my nose and mouth. Done. I think I'm gonna have to show you a picture because in the pictures it's so much darker. I don't know what's going on with my camera. Okay, then the top gel for this one and then we're done. Okay, those two are done. Well, that was exhausting. <laughs> I forget how long it takes to do these. It takes such a long time. You know, I learned some stuff, I practiced. As always, if you have any tips, tricks, hints, whatever, please leave them in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. By the way, I have no set day posting on this channel. It's just kind of as of when I can. So yeah, just, just look out for a video, I guess. And keep tagging me on Instagram in designs that you like and you think I would like. It's been really, really helpful. Um, so yeah, I'll see you next time.